I had decided in my last semester, just before my last semester, that I really didn't want to be a lawyer. And uh, a, a family friend who was a writer said to me one day when we were together, he said, why don't you, uh, these are almost exactly his words. He says, why don't you, and he was working at the time. He said, why don't you go into show business? It's a lot of fun and I'll help you get your first job. It's exactly what he said. And I said, oh, okay. And, um, and I called uh, my fiance at the time, uh, Sharon, and I said, uh, you know, I was talking to Shelley and he, he thinks that maybe I could go into show business and he'll help me get a job and I'm gonna do it. And she said, that sounds great. She had, you know, she didn't think, I don't think that I particularly had any promise as a lawyer. And so I, um, Shelley, true to his word, um, sent me out on some interviews over time. He was working at CBS on the Danny Kay show where he was a writer, Sheldon Keller. And uh, I got hired as an usher at CBS. And, um, and Shelley said, uh, you know, here's the, here's the idea. Uh, if you're going to be an usher, your, your responsibility is to be the best usher you can be which I took t totally seriously and um, began as an usher and uh, soon became, was promoted to uh, assistant usher supervisor, which meant that all the other ushers could make fun of me. So that was it. Dave was an usher at CBS and... Um, we were both, uh, you know, working. Um, we were both working the same shows. He was a very funny guy, and um, um, we started to uh, talk about comedy and writing and what worked and what didn't work. And uh, I had taken a class at, UC at uh, UCLA Extension in comedy writing and thought maybe I could do it. And uh, and we started uh, very early on trying to write together, and. Um, and developed a career, you know, uh, very soon after that. I mean, it took a while to really get going, but we, but we did do that. I met Elias after school when I had moved back to L.A. and got a job at CBS as an usher. And uh, I was assigned, in those days, there were a lot of comedy shows. In fact, comedy shows were the only programs that really uh, required audiences, so uh, since dramas and soap operas uh, didn't require a laughter, uh, I worked on a lot of comedy shows, and it often entailed when you were assigned to a program, you had to be there all day through the rehearsals just to answer the phone for people. And, uh, and it seems to me that uh, just through the fluke of how the ushers were scheduled, there was a there was a, a fleet of us ushers. We were scat. We would be assigned all over the city to, for film shows. We would go over to, uh, say, the Dick Van Dyke show over at Desilu on Coenga, or out to the Valley when Jack Benny did film shows. And uh, uh, often in the building, the shows that originated then were the Judy Garland show, Red Skelton, Art Linkletter's House Party. Uh, and the Danny Kay show. And as I remember, uh, we, Elias and I were assigned to the Danny Kay show a lot. And so we were there watching those rehearsals all the time and just laughing.